Hi there, it's Timmy Joe. Boom! Hi there, I make uh, videos about computers or some shit on the internet. Serendipitous day today. I'm not too sure what that means. Uh, what's this rigmarole all jazzed up here? Well, this is my test bench. I have an old Corsair H60, like the first one ever in there, uh, on an LGA775 socket. Basically, it's failed. Um, we see here, it, it's going to keep going up, but it's a 65C in the BIOS on a dual core. It's a dual, dual core to duo-ish, and it's got 8 gigs of RAM, no hard drive even hooked up to it, because I'm simply illustrating the purpose of this temperature. We'll keep climbing. Uh, I got it out of an older system that I was using for a budget PC build that I'm switching a Xeon out of. And I was like, oh, cool, it's got an AIO in it. Let's, and I, I've had an H60 before. They're no good. But basically, it's failed. We're going to get to the bottom uh, as to why. And uh, cue an intro, and I will let you know what's in this box and why it's so serendipitous. Cue the, cue the intro. Ah! Okay, so, uh, Mailman, uh, well, he was, like, from, whatever, FedEx or something, shows up at my door with this package today, and I was setting this up, and we're at 66 degrees, uh, and, uh, I was like, oh, man, I think I know what this is, and, ironically enough, it's from Arctic, that's right, and I think I know what it is. So we're going to open up this package. Well, this achieves maximum temperature. And then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, maybe open that AIO up, figure out uh, why it's no longer cooling. I believe it's due to a lack of fluid, but I'd like to see. As well as uh, maybe kind of come to a realization that you shouldn't buy a used AIO. Maybe uh, especially one that's like really old. But uh, in the last couple of years, you might be okay. They've gotten a little bit better but h60s suck they're good for like you know a situation where you can't have a tall cooler but you can have hoses running to a rad somewhere in the case or something like that it they're they really are terrible at cooling even like the wraith cooler will cool better than them i have a review of one up there and i thought it was all right at the first but i didn't know what i was talking about it's terrible so let's go ahead and open this up looks like it's like someone opened it up so this came from uh, Brunswick, Germany. Interesting enough. I don't know why it came from Germany. I'm pretty sure they're from Switzerland. <laughs> oh, I mean, how ironic is that? That I'd receive an amazing water cooler on the day I'm testing water coolers. Hmm. Let's see, we're at 71 degrees Celsius. Do you believe me? It's shot. Um, I had this on a quad-core Xeon. Oh, no, sorry. Just a Q6600. So a quad-core um, core, core 2 Duo quad before. And uh, going into Windows, it like would reach 100 degrees Celsius. So I knew something. Like I, I couldn't even... I had to switch the cooler like immediately because something was going on. So uh, let's go ahead and shut this off. And then we'll get to uh, the, the autopsy and see why this is no longer working like we see the pumps working i can feel the flu Ooh, it's warm i can feel the fluid going through it uh but um you know we see 4300 rpm i'm sure the pump's not going that fast but it's, it's it's registering that it's working i feel the fluid in the cable which is probably about the pussiest cable i've ever seen on an aio before let's go ahead and shut this off and we'll switch camera angles that this you can see this uh no, it's auto focusing half decent there we go there is a line of crap that has developed uh right at this like basically the way water blocks work is the water's pumped into this little spreader there and it's supposed to pump through these fins underneath this blob and uh pretty pretty easy to tell 
what's going on there as well as there's enough um, corrosion in here that there's no way the water or coolant's moving over it effectively anymore. I mean, this is a first gen product uh, for an AIO with a, you know, a budget AIO, so I doubt it's a very good product. I doubt they had it in mind for last more while. Well, it's supposed to have a five year warranty, but I've heard the pumps on these uh, go pretty good, so. My pee. Oh, it stinks so bad. Look at this. 33 to 35 degrees hovering in between in there. And listen. Dead freaking silent. When I first started it up, it sounded like a fish tank. And it took me, I, I cycled some water back through it again. I pumped water through it with a water bottle. I wasn't just spitting water into it. I made sure it was very clean. I doubt I'll be using this for anything, but it's it's done. It works very well. Uh, it's silent, and it's, it's working again. Now I've only put, like, uh, fridge water. I use water that pumps through my fridge through a filter, so I'm not sure exactly how good that could be, but uh, I'm happy with the result. Now, should you take your AIO apart if it's not working right and clean her all up because it's real easy? Oh, hell no! It took me... Two or three hours to do this, and I was hoping this was just going to be like a quick video for me. So it's been, uh, I'm wet, my feet are wet, my stuff's all wet, but in the end, you can clean it out and, you know, you know maybe put some better coolant through it, clean the, the copper block, put some Brasso on that shit and make it work good again. And it might turn out for you, but in the end, these are meant to be dumped. And they have a five, apparently a five-year warranty. Register that and get one replaced as soon as it's not cooling right. Uh, especially with Corsair. Because I had one of these things and inside six months I was like, something's up with this thing and I just got rid of it. So, I am at Watch Me Joe on Instagram and Twitter. You could fix your AIO if you really want to. Uh, and you just requires a lot of spit and a lot of urine and a lot of elbow grease. And you could get, you could get it working again. I have it tied off with a little pipe clamp. Uh, and I'm, I'm, it's not leaking, but I'm questioning whether or not that'll just explode at any moment, but probably not. But results, I mean, this thing was uh, well over, what, 60 degrees, and now it's just hovering over around 34. Pretty cool. I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely going to be this installation, because I'm super psyched for this, because uh, the only way you're going to get uh, Ryzen to 4 gigahertz is with something like this, and I'm really hoping that Arctic's artistry in cooling will outdo something like this and we'll have a really fun time. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks very much for watching and as a catch watching me Joe and Twitter. Bye. Wow.